Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you go about creating a header for a website or for a web project. In this one, I'm just going to work with my name and I'm going to show you how to set up the workspace, how to work with font, how to add color, how to work with shapes, blending modes, and how to save it as a JPEG finally. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is I'm going to come to File, New. And the most important thing is whatever document type is set at, the real important stuff is in here. So we want to make sure that we're set to pixels. And for this assignment, again, it could be different, right? Um, but I'm setting this one, my width at 1200 and my height at 100. Now I can make my width a little bit smaller. Now what we want to think about too with the web is that every 72 pixels is an inch, about an inch on a monitor. All right, the resolution is at 72. And I kept my background contents transparent. You could also put yours in as white if you'd like to. And it's an RGB color. So I hit OK, and there I have it. Now, I know that this is transparent because I see the gray and the white. So I'm going to come on in, and I'm going to add a color fill. If I want to have a color in the background, I'm just going to come on up to here. I'm going to go to Edit, Fill. And I'm going to just choose a color. So I have color here. Now you might already have your color in down in your color picker. I'm going to hit OK and it came in. Now that was the color that I had already chosen. And as you can see, it was already set in my color picker and it was 003333. OK, there we have it. So I have my color fill. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add, just like I did in the other one, I'm kind of just recreating the one that you saw when this video began. I'm going to grab my circles and I'm going to add some polka dots. Now, I want to change the color. I'm going to go for a color more like that. My strokes turned off. And I'm going to hold, if I hold down shift, I'll get perfect circles. Perfect circles, perfect circles. Do, 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 do. Here we go. I can make some small, some big. And I can move on through my project. Now, the windows that I have opened on my screen right now, you can see my history. Um, and that's showing what I did. All of these are going into one layer. That's because I was working them continuously without stopping. But now, look, I stopped. And I came over and I touched um, my move tool. Then I clicked off the screen. So now, if I come on in and I grab um, my lips tool and I draw, up, oh, see it created a second layer. So either way, and we know that with our layers, whatever's on top is literally what's on top. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, make these more like an overlay. Um, so I'm gonna actually use a blending mode in order to do that. So in order to access the blending mode, I need to have that layer selected and I can click and I'm going to go to overlay. So now it just looks like something that's laying over and blending with the layer behind it. I'm going to do the same to this one right here. I'm going to come, I'm going to select overlay and there we have it. Excellent. All right. So now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to actually use a brush. I want to add another element of color. But what I want to do is I want this to be on its own layer. It's always good to organize things in their own layers. So I'm going to click this little icon right there and I'm going to make it a new layer. And what I'm going to do as I come on in is I'm going to go, I'm going to grab my brush. Now, when I come on into my brush, I can click here and I can see that I have all of these different brushes. Okay, so I'm going to stick with like one like this. And I actually really like this one a lot. It's um, kind of like this, you know, it can give some interesting marks. So I'm going to go for like a lighter version of this all. And I am going to come on in and I can see the size of it. So this is, I'm going to make this maybe just a tiny bit bigger. I'll go up to 41 and I'm going to click and I'm going to run this over and across. And now I have this kind of look um, of, uh, and I could put the dots on top if I'd like to. That's what they're looking like even just on top of this. Or let's see if this is on top of that. What's what do I like better? So they get lost that way. Now, what if I took this one and I also turned it into an overlay? Let's see what that looks like. Okay, kind of interesting. Um, I could also maybe practice and try lighten. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, cool. 
Um, I'm going to go back to normal. I kind of don't think it looks that different from Lighten. So I'm going to stick with the overlay. And I'm going to add a little bit more too. I'm going to actually kind of just fill this guy up with some of this. So I have those marks, right? Um, all right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some type. And I can see that I have everything, you know, organized into different layers and everything's in its own layer. So now this is the story. When I work with type, I'm going to come on over, I'm going to grab the T for type and I can just click, click. Okay. Now, uh, mine already was preset. I did set it at 72 points and that's kind of what I wanted. And I've installed a typewriter font. I love typewriter font. So I'm going to come to American typewriter and I'm going to type in my name. Now, in order to move this over, I need to come on over to my tools and I need to click on the move tool. And then I can come on in and I can move this around. Okay, so type's a little bit tricky. I know this definitely isn't the right color. It absolutely gets lost. So in order to select this, and I can see up in my layers, whatever I typed ends up on there. So now this is what I want to do when I want to, you know, edit this font. I want to change the color of it. So what I need to do is I need to come on back and I need to grab the T for type tool. And I can see that I have my color. So I could come on in right up into here and I could go for a darker color. And you know what? I think that's what I want for sure. Okay. So I need to make sure that I'm back in typewriter mode when I come on in right to here. Now, let's say that I had a wrong letter. Um, or I wanted to just get rid of something, what I would need to do is have my typewriter tool selected and then I can just come and hover and click. And now I'm, I can come in, I can delete, I can add, I can move around. If I wanted to make things bigger, I could triple click. I get everything selected and maybe I want to go to 60. All right, and then I click it on off and there we have it. Now, when I go to save this file, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to come to, I'm gonna export, I'm gonna say export, and let's go to save for the web. And for this one, let's just do JPEG. We'll do JPEG medium, we'll hit save. I'm gonna give it a name, header, I'm gonna save it, and there we have it. We've just created a header for the web. Thanks for listening.